One of the problems that one may face, a researcher may face, uh, with uh, an SEM analysis is to develop a set of uh, question statements that will lead to indicator measures which will be associated with latent variables and then make a mistake in some uh, question statements so that the answers to those question statements uh, cross load so they load on the, lo on the wrong latent variables Here's an example of a situation like this. So I have this model, latent model, with three variables. And when I look at the indicator loadings and cross loadings, I see that I have one indicator here, PROC4 underscore FE5, which loads poorly on the latent variable that it is supposed to load which is this latent variable here, project management, and loads strongly on the wrong latent variable, which is FE. In situations like this, you have a couple of options. One is to go back and redo the model and then associate this indicator to the variable that it, strong, it, it, it loads more strongly on which in, in this case is FE. Another s possibility is to simply delete this indicator from the analysis. I will delete this indicator from the analysis. In order to do that, I have to go back to step 4. The system is telling me that if I do a step, if I run a step, uh, again I have to run the steps succeeding it again. So I'll do that. So I'll click yes, go and define the model, and I will go to the latent variable options area. I will click on edit latent variable, click on this latent variable here, and then remove this indicator. I will save this. I'll save the model. The model structure will be created as it, uh, it is always uh, happens after I define a model. Then I will go to step 5, perform the SEM analysis. The software will run the SEM analysis again. And now when I go to the indicator loadings and cross loadings area, I no longer have that problem. Here all indicators load on the proper variables. I have one low loading here and slightly high cross loading for this variable for this indicator FE5 uh, which uh, is supposed to load on FE and it does. Um, this 0.664 is not low enough and the cross loadings are not high enough for me to consider this indicator a road rogue indicator that I would have to remove from the analysis. But by doing this I solve the problem of uh, indicators loading poorly on the latent variables that they're supposed to load on.